The following TempTrack video will show you how to navigate through the TempTrack system. Navigating through TempTrack is simple and easy. It was designed so that a user can quickly get to where they want to go with the fewest amount of mouse clicks. For example, the TempTrack logo sends the user to their default dashboard home page, while the category tabs on the left, sensors, reports are always available to quickly bring up most all actions that a user can perform. Up above you can see the flashing alert signs. By clicking on any one of the blinking alerts it will take you to the corresponding alarm page. Alerts, battery, and communications. The menu bar provides the ability to change your password, modify your user settings, obtain page help, and search for a sensor or a group, and finally to log out of TempTrack. The Sensors and Reports tab on the left open a scrolling menu with additional options corresponding to the tab name. Depending on the user's security and access, one or more tabs may not appear. If there are any outstanding alerts, a blinking red bar will appear for each type. Sensor alarms, battery alarms, and communication alarms at the top of the browser window. Clicking on the blinking bar will take you to the corresponding page, allowing you to take the required action for that alarm type. We will discuss the various alarm types in a subsequent video. But for now, we have a brief overview. The sensor alarms provides current information on the number of sensors with outstanding alarms that need to be addressed. Battery alarms displays which sensors that are low on power and need battery replacement. When the batteries are replaced, the battery alarm will be cleared. The communication alarm shows which sensors are having difficulty communicating their information to the temp track system. Once the sensor starts communicating again, the communication alarm will be cleared. Now if you click on one of the blinking outstanding alarms at the top of temp track and you do not have the correct permissions to view the page, you will receive an error message stating that you do not have correct permissions. If you think you should, please contact your TempTrack administrator. The top menu bar provides the ability to change your password, modify system settings, obtain page help, and search for a sensor or group and log out. Changing your password is simply done by clicking the password option in the menu bar. All that is required is for the saver to enter their current password and select a new password and then click Save. TempTrack is extremely customizable, allowing the user to select specific settings that work best for them. By clicking the Settings option in the menu bar, options for each user setting is displayed. These are unique to the user and will not affect other users. TempTrack provides help on every page by clicking the Help option in the menu bar. Each Help page identifies the page the user is on, a description of the page, and a description of any options the user can interact with. Lastly, the online help lists the local help contacts for TempTrack within your organization and has a link directly to iCare support. To quickly locate a sensor or group of sensors within TemTrack, click the search option in the menu bar. Select either group or sensor and then enter the word, partial word, or number you are looking for. In search results, click on the green arrow and you will be directed to that group or sensor. 
The quick tabs on the left make navigating through TempTrack simple and easy. Any device monitored by TempTrack that you are in charge of is displayed in the sensor list when you click the sensor tab. Equipment is normally arranged into groups or departments and all groups and departments are displayed in the user's view. Each line item can be clicked on and will provide additional detailed information. The Reports tab lists all of the reports available in the TempTrack system. Some reports only show information about one piece of equipment, like the Sensor History Report, while others show detailed information on all the equipment, like the Daily Sensor Report. Reports will be discussed in detail in a subsequent video.